Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to ramble and talk about sadness and really get vulnerable about it. And I do promise you, you will benefit from watching this video because I just had an amazing moment with sadness today. And I was inspired by a coaching session yesterday with Uzazu founder Dylan Newcomb on the topic of embodied business coaching. And he was talking about the connection between my brand and my delivery of the brand. And also we owned in on the sadness that I was feeling as well. And it was all very revealing stuff. So in the way I describe my work, I use very high level language such as breakthrough awakening, emotional alchemy, unlocking your heart virtue, which is um, very high level and almost non-dual. And I just want to be really clear in this video that even though I speak of such things, and even though I do experience awakening and my larger self on a regular basis, I want to be clear in this video that I'm not there all the time myself. And you don't have to be either. It is my goal in life and it is my practice to narrow the gap between that experience and my regular experience in the day-to-day -day world, in my daily life, in my moment-to-moment -moment moments, while at the same time feeling my feelings. It's really, really important to, to feel my feelings. And and even to this day, even though I experience awakening on a regular basis, sadness is also something I feel on a regular basis. And it's something I've been feeling since my teenage years when I was feeling suicidal. And the flavor though has changed. I no longer feel suicidal. I do still feel the sadness. And yesterday's session made it very clear what it was about. The sadness was about the disconnection between that oneness experience, that awakening experience of total freedom and openness that I feel when I'm there and my regular life where I don't feel that. And there's just that total disconnect. And I feel that disconnect not only in my own life, but also in the lives of other people in the world, the way things are being played out in the world, there's that total disconnect between heaven and earth and that's what the sadness is about. And today, while doing my Uzazu practice in the park, I decided to really own in to the sadness using an Uzazu movement called U, which is all about self-connection. Uzazu is all about using sound, breath, and movement to really own in into what you're feeling and what you want to feel. So I used the sound ooh and made the sadness tangible right in my belly. And as I did that, a really funny thing happened. I started feeling ecstatic about the sadness. And, and it wasn't even that the sadness was turning into ecstasy. It was that I was feeling sadness and ecstasy at the same time. In fact, I was so ecstatic that it was hard to breathe. I was breathing really fast, really hard. The ecstasy was almost uncontrollable. And yet I was still feeling the sadness at the same time. It was so surreal and so startling. I was so surprising that, that I started feeling like, what the fuck is happening to me? And finally, as I really owned in even further and really enjoyed that ecstasy and sadness at the same time, it finally turned into peace peace about the sadness, peace with the sadness. And that is an example of why in my work I teach about feeling your feelings and not suppressing them, not trying to fake, uh, fake your way out, 
not using affirmations, not trying to change your vibrations or teaching that you attract bad things if you vibrate at a sad level. Because you can feel multiple things at the same time. And sadness can be ecstasy. Sadness can be peace. Sadness can be feeling moved. In fact, on some level, it's all the same, possibly, maybe. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a Breakthrough Awakening session, a Breakthrough Awakening episode. Subscribe to my website, BreakthroughAwakening.com. The URL is really long. That's why I created a shorter URL called BlizzGasms.com. And it's the memorial URL. That's why I created that. It's not really my brand. My focus is on really Breakthrough Awakening and emotional alchemy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I love you all.